Hey YouTube, Fired Up Prepper here, and it's Monday morning, March 19th, I believe. Uh, don't mark my word on that. Anyway, hey, Fired Up Day today. My last two videos, it was all in the same, but there's two of them up. Patriot Pantry Food, which was the free 72-hour food supply, just pay the shipping. Uh, it's... 7.15 a.m. So what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to make the Maple Grove Oatmeal. Maple Grove Oatmeal. This is from Patriot Pantry. Food for Self-Reliant Patriots. Uh, website is www.patriotpantry.com and their phone number is 866-229-0927. Made in the U USA by Patriots for Patriots. Number one, I'm not a distributor. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get paid for any of this. I'm not doing it for any other reason. I paid the shipping just like everybody else on this. It's just to test the product. And so anyway, let's get started here. Let me get a pan out. Now it says one serving is supposed to be like a half a cup of oatmeal and a one cup of water. I'm going to do two cups and a full cup. Bring that water to a boil. I'm going to do it on top of the stove. shouldn't take that long. We can talk while it's boiling. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open this. I believe they've got resealable packages. Yeah, it's got a resealable one here, so we'll just cut this top off, and that should be enough for us to access the actual oatmeal. Oh, yeah, see, it's got the brown sugar half and then the oatmeal half, so I guess you just... I hope, I guess you just cook it all together. Well, that's what we'll do. We're going to do a full cup. Take the chick lips out. Put them back in. Okay, that's a pretty even cup. Seal that back up. Now this is a 25 year shelf life food. I don't know how long. Normally when you open these things up, they're good for a year. Other products, that's all I'm saying is other products uh, are usually good for a year. Oh, let's see. Ingredients, 100% natural rolled oats, sugar, creamer, partially hydrogenated coconut oil, corn syrup, solid, sodium, Cassinade, the, I'm not going to get into all that stuff. Anyway, and then brown sugar and salt. Uh, what else we got here? It's got the nutritional facts. So a half cup serving size. There's eight servings in this uh, package. Is One serving, half cup, is 240 calories. Calories from fat, 45. Total fat, 4.5 grams, 7%. Saturated fat, 2 grams, 9%. Cholesterol, 0. Sodium, 135 milligrams, 6%. Total carbohydrates, 44 grams, 15%. Dietary fiber, fiber 4 grams, 17%. Sugars, 14 grams. Protein, 6 grams. Vitamin A, 0%. Vitamin C, 0%. Calcium, 2%. Iron, 10%. And uh, that's pretty much it for that. So anyway, you can go to Instagram or Facebook or probably directly to their website and order the, uh, I don't know if they send the same thing out to everybody or if it's different. I got the uh, Granny's Homestyle Potato Soup, which I can't wait. I love potato soup. I got the Maple Grove Oatmeal, which we're cooking now, and then the creamy chicken flavored rice. What you do is you pay the shipping. I paid $14.95 shipping. So here's the deal. I know if you go to Walmart per se, I've bought the Mountain House products at Walmart before, and uh, I know that it was 
anywhere from five to seven fifty a pouch, uh, maybe depending on what it what it is that you were getting. Let me grab a bowl here and get ready to eat and a spoon. But anyway, so you know, fourteen ninety five for the shipping. It's not that heavy. I don't know. Let's see, we got 8.9 ounces, 14.7, there's, you know, there's uh, three, three and a half pounds of product there, and I believe it came, was it shipped in a uh, USPS, uh, one price, you know, type package, so you know what, they, the shipping might be a little high, uh, I don't know that it takes almost $15 to ship those three packets, but you know, $5 a packet to try it, to see if I like it. The quality of the food, the taste of the food, our water's starting to boil here a little bit. Uh, you know, it's worth it to me. Do a video and uh, share it with y'all and, and we'll see if it's any good. But uh, you know, $14.95, three bags of food, it's supposed to be a 72 day supply so you know this is breakfast this morning I'm doing a full cup instead of uh, don't know whether I'll eat it all but I'm doing a I'm making a full cup of the product so that means uh, I'll have six servings left in here because it's supposed to be eight and this is two servings a half cup is a serving so I'll have six servings left uh, which means for two people I could do uh, three days you could have breakfast for two people for three days at a cup what at a cup a piece two four six eight you know even more than that uh, on the granny's homestyle potato soup it's uh, half cup is also half cup is also a serving and there's four four uh, servings in here so you know if you had this for lunch and then had this for dinner and then switched it up the next day yeah i can see you have a three day three day supply there okay so our water's boiling we'll just go ahead and pour it into our bowl here turn that off pour this in I guess I'll read the directions to see how long it says stir in a half a cup I got a cup cook one minute stirring occasionally remove from heat let stand one minute so I guess I was supposed to pour it in there instead of in the bowl <laughs> I guess I should have paid attention so I don't know that it's gonna turn out the way it's supposed to unless I turn it back on I'll just pour it back in there is what I'll do hopefully I don't make a mess or burn anything See, it's all right. You can make a video and mess up. I should have read the directions first, right? Try and clean the rest of that out of there. There we go. Okay, see, so. <laughs> and I don't edit my videos. I go with the flow and what happens, happens. And. You know, if you're going to make videos, that's the thing, too. When I first started making videos seven or eight years ago, and it hasn't always been for, for prepping, but I would wear myself out trying to make uh, a video and just do it over and over and over again to the point where I was almost ready to throw my camera and everything else into the street, you know. But I decided after that you just drive yourself crazy doing that kind of thing. Yeah, you're only supposed to cook it one minute, stirring occasionally, so how occasionally can you do in one minute, right? It smells good, very good. Like I said, inside the bag was uh, the oatmeal and the brown sugar, so you can maple brown sugar, maple grove brown sugar whatever so 
you're going to say that's been a minute, right? So let's pour that back in. You know what I just thought of? Well, no, I think I did, right? It was supposed to be a cup. Yeah, one cup of water. And I did two cups and I did a, a full... cup of the oatmeal. But I'm used to oatmeal not being soupy, so... I don't want to scold myself, scold myself, so I'm not gonna... I'm gonna give it just a little bit. Most exciting cooking video you've ever seen right but anyway we're trying it and I'm gonna do a video for each of the products and you know it's just it's it's quick and easy stuff this is uh, I really haven't looked at the prices for their food yet so I need to do that I need to go to their website and say okay how much do they actually charge when they're charging full price for their product because uh, you know, I do a little bit of everything. I do canned goods. I, I have boxed stuff. Uh, I've got long-term stores like this from two other companies. One that puts it in the bags. The other one does, uh, well, let me grab one and I'll show it to you. It's Thrive. These are two different sized Thrive cans, okay? This one here is the bacon bits. This is a, a like a big, a gallon jug type size. And then this is what they call like a pantry size, I think. These are actually uh, mushroom pieces. Smell just like mushrooms. See? And they taste like mushrooms. I'm, the main thing that I use my Thrive for is making breakfast omelets. I love their eggs. I love mixing all the different ingredients up and putting them in the uh, putting them in the omelets, and they're they're awesome. So, long term storage also 20, 25 years. And basically, once you open up, you can see that uh, I opened this can July eighth, two thousand seventeen. Same thing for that one. That was the first time I made. My very first uh, omelet with them when I got the product in. So I'm not a distributor there either, just a customer. You can go to uh, Tiny House Prepper, uh, their their YouTube channel, Tiny House Prepper, and uh, they are the Thrive distributor that I use. I've spoke with them on the phone before. Uh, I was considering becoming a distributor. I didn't do it. Don't know that I ever will, but. Uh, you don't have to be. You can just get the product, store it, use it, and that's what I do. That's another tip that I'm going to talk to you all about is you have to use your preps, right? You don't just get the stuff, put it away, and forget it. Rotate it. Use it. And uh, that's, really what, that's really what works for me. I, I use almost all my preps, canned foods, everything. Uh, this stuff, I really don't so much. I try it when I get it in, and then that's it. But other than that, the Thrive, uh, I've tried all of that. I don't have any stored that, yeah, I do have. I do have, I have about, I got some drink mixes. I've got some beef, ground beef, and that may be it. I have, uh, there's maybe a couple. Anyway, I've got about a total of six to eight cans uh, in my storage that I have not opened. Uh, but the rest, everything that would, that I use, for uh, for the omelets I have down here, so let's let's try this out. This ought to be good and made. Like I said, it's I'm not used to oatmeal being like this, but we'll see. I don't want to fry myself. Awesome taste, very good. 
Now here's the deal. I read the ingredients to you and nutrition facts. And, you know, if you're, here's what you have to think about. This is what I consider survival food. It's survival food. That's the whole purpose of buying this. If shit hits the fan or you have major catastrophe, natural disaster, anything like that, you need food. Or if it's a long-term deal, uh, you got to eat. And boiling water and cooking is about the easiest way to go without, you know, having to do everything else. Guys, that's awesome. It has incredible taste, so... Shit hit the fan situation, natural disaster, whatever it is. That is a good oatmeal uh, breakfast dinner for you right there. It's awesome. So, thumbs up on the Maple Grove Oatmeal by Patriot Pantry. We'll see you on the next video. Stay focused. Stay fired up. Make sure you get down and subscribe. Crazy video I know may not be the most exciting, but it is what it is. And appreciate y'all watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.